Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another Second Breakfast podcast. Hello. Uh, <laughs> today we're doing uh, uh, today we're doing another Five Minute Monday. It will be actually five minutes. I'm Andy Roth, alongside Phil Duvall, and today we're doing something called Because We're Idiots. Because and we're idiots. And that is and 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 we got the idea for this because, well, we're idiots, and we have said things in our podcasts that are already yep. wrong, um, yes. even e- either either factually. Or if they're an opinion, they're so wrong and that even though it's subjective, it's leaked over into, like, fact. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a thing, like, where it's, like, we are just wrong about that movie. And then there's, like, I straight up said something. So I'll, I'll start. Uh, the other day we were talking about the and, – and by the way, we recognize that you people don't actually care about how wrong we are because there's four of you and uh, you don't care. We already <laughs> assume we're idiots. But – um, so we were we were talking the other day, and Andy mentioned something. I don't remember why you mentioned the bicycle thief, but you mentioned the bicycle thief, and you were like, "Bicycle thief or bicycle thieves?" I don't remember which. And I was like, "And I was like, oh, it's bicycle thief. Anyone who says thieves is an idiot." And it turns out that it, I was an idiot because uh, it's actually bicycle thieves in the original Italian. And I make this big deal because I I studied Italian in college, so I acted like I knew what I was talking about. I didn't know at all what I was talking about. It was so <laughs> arrogant and stupid. And um, the reason I said it was because uh, originally the, in the American release of this dreadful Italian movie that everyone loves and I've never seen, um, it was translated as Bicycle Thief singular, even though the Italian it's in the plural. And it was like that for a really long time. So a lot of the print for it, a lot of the press for it was singular. Turns out it was plural. We Americans can't handle two bicycle thieves. There can only be one for us. Um, it's just too much. And so anyways, I was wrong. I was an idiot. It is not a dreadful movie. It is dreadfully depressing. It is. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, I think that's what I meant, by the way. Sure, okay. I, mean, I, okay. I, I don't know. That it's... No, no, that's fair. That's fair. And also, not for nothing, but the bicycle thief as opposed to bicycle thieves right. there's kind of a spoiler in that anyway see the movie ah. it is spectacular uh i bet i know what you mean i got something wrong and i i had to and and phil pointed it out and it's one of these opinions that is leached over into fact phil what did i get wrong so we were we talking we did our thing about those guys or that guys which are people that you see over and over and over again in tv in movies and you get all excited that you know, you're like, oh, it's that guy. I don't know his name, but he's in everything, and he's awesome. And you said that the guy from Dawn of the Dead, Scott was, Reiniger. I can't believe I forgot his name. What's his name? Scott Reiniger. And you're like, I can't believe I forgot his name. He's one of those those guys too. <laughs> and so when he, Andy said that, I looked him up on IMDb, and he'd been in like one other movie, and it was a home movie, like made in 1990, <laughs> never. <laughs> But I let it go because he was trying to make a larger point. He was like the guy in Animal House. It's like, just let him go. He's on a roll. So I just let you go. Germans? Uh, uh, yes. So his name is Scott Reiniger. Uh, I love him like I love a that guy, to be fair. I mean, and and, and I'm going to say that that was my point, except that I'm still wrong. Uh, he has been in, like, so few other things. He was in, and I want to read you the IMDb description for the other, the only other. He guest starred as, like, a truck driver on one episode of Falcon Crest. Huh? Right. Uh, he was in a 1977 movie. <laughs> Who hasn't movie. done that? <laughs> right. Uh, he was in this 1977 movie called Danny. And I want to okay. read you the entirety of the IMDb description. And I'm just going to okay. leave it there with no comment except to tell you that he is like 20th build even in this movie a young girl's special love for her horse helps them both <laughs> that's all i have I all right really let's couldn't... keep this under five my other thing that i messed up was in our george lucas podcast uh i mentioned picasso's famous work of art, which I've actually seen. And that's the funny thing is I've seen it. I've been to the, um, it's in the Museo Reina Sofia, I think in, in Madrid and I've seen it and it's beautiful. And I pronounced it Guernica when in fact it's La Guernica, La oh, Guernica, not Guernica, which by the way is, I mean, it's like if you asked, how do you pronounce, you know, war in Spa- Spanish, it's, it's Guerra, I think, or Guerra, I forget if it's masculine feminine, but I should have known that. But I was, and I was talking about it like I'm some artsy person who knows. It reminds me of uh, Diane Keaton in Manhattan when she says Van Gogh. Nice. And Woody Allen is like, Van Gogh? Who says Van Gogh? He gets like so angry. That's what I deserved. And so our producer rightfully said, It's Guernica, you idiot. 
That's going to take us actually over five minutes. Guys, we're idiots, but sorry, we love you anyway. Please keep, please stay with us. Uh, Our agency been... cannot be contained by five minutes. <laughs> Even five minute Monday, we're busting through. Guys, this has been another Second Breakfast Podcast. <laughs> we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.